Hello, Miles Maeda here with more Modern Yoga Movement videos for you. In this series, we're going to be focusing on the spiral line. And this is fascia that runs uh, up the legs and the torso. And it goes in both directions. It crisscrosses uh, and the torso. It's easy to follow. It goes across the belly in the front and it goes across the upper back. And then it ends at the top of the neck. And this line helps us with spiraling movements as well as twisting postures. And internally, it's compressing and toning the organs. So we're going to start first with some cervical spine exercises. So working with the head and neck and just let the breath flow. So we're sitting comfortably. The spine is lifted, shoulders relax, and just balance the head on top of the spine. And then we look up, the chin reaches up. And then looking down, drop the chin down. So we're stretching the front of the throat and then stretching the back of the neck. Let's do two more rounds. Just nice and easy. You can feel this softly opening the vertebrae in the neck and come to center and then tilt the head to the right. So I'll mirror you, ear comes down towards the shoulder, up and then to the left and do your best to keep the shoulders relaxed as the ear comes down. So we're stretching the sides of the neck. Again, this is a little more soft, right? And just let the breath flow and left and feel the spine lifting as we move the head and neck. And on the left, come to the center and here's the spiral. And we look to the right, the chin travels towards the shoulder and then to the left. And here feel that you're lifting as you're turning your head. So the spine feels like it's getting taller so to the right and left. Again, this is more gentle and soft, right and left. And let's come to the center and we'll do some shoulder circles. Place the hands on the tops of the legs and let's inhale as we bring the shoulders up to the ears and exhale, roll them back and down. Inhale, so we're softening the connective tissue layers in the neck and shoulders. Inhale, bringing more openness and space to the shoulders and the chest and back. And now we'll make bigger circles with the elbows. Again, just let the breath flow. Making bigger circles with the shoulders, bringing more mobility. And the last one, we'll bring the elbows together and it's like we're diving up and around. We scoop. So there's a little lift, a little jump as we go up. It's inhale and exhale. And you can feel like you're lifting the front of the spine and then stretching the back of the spine. Let's do two more around. So it's a little arch in the front, a little curl in the back and let's relax. All right, let's move to the thoracic spine and the lumbar spine. Come into cat cow and we're going to start adding some twisting movements. So the hands are shoulder width apart, knees are together and feet are together. Inhale, we flex the feet and exhale in the cow position. We're arching at the sacrum, press the hands and feet down, stretching the front of the spine. Inhale, point the toes. And exhale again, press the hands and feet down in this cat position. Crown of the head points to the floor as does this uh, tail. Inhale, flat back, flex your feet. Exhale, arch. So you're lifting the belly, lifting the sternum. Nice long neck. So shoulders are down from your ears. Inhale, neutral spine, point the toes. And then our cat position, 
just like gravity bring the head and neck down and we also feel energy flow down from the sacrum towards the floor. Neutral spine now will rock forward and back. Inhale as you just go a little forward and then in our cow position we exhale and the pelvis goes backward halfway to sitting. Release, inhale, point your toes. And in our cat position, the pelvis goes back halfway to sitting, drawing the legs together gently. Inhale forward. And exhale in our cow position. Now as you're going backward, you can pull with your wrists, bend your elbows a little bit, and create a little traction in the spine and feel like your sternum is reaching forward as your sacrum goes back. Release, inhale. Now push with your hands. As your sacrum goes backward, you can feel the crown of the head still reaching forward. Again, just going halfway back to sitting. And release. So we're going to keep doing that rocking cat cow and add the spiral. I'll do the first set facing sideways. So we inhale and we come into our Rocking cow, so arching the back, go halfway to sitting, gently pulling with the wrists. You can slightly bend the elbows. Now spin on your palms so the fingers face each other. Your elbows are wide. And we're going to go to the right. So your left hand will go under and walk along the floor. Do your best to keep your shoulder off the floor and just adding a spiral, a twist to the spine. But we're still trying to be in our cow position arching at the sacrum, and then let's release. Turn the hands to face forward, and we'll come into our cat position, drawing the legs together, sacrum going back. And release, inhale, and rocking cow, exhale, going halfway back to sitting. Again, do your best to stay in an arch. Spiral the hands or spin on the palms. The elbows are wide. And with a nice lift in the front of the body, now the right hand walks along the floor under the arm and will spiral to the left. And just do your best to little by little deepen the twist while feeling like you're still in an arch in the cow position. And then release to the center. Return your hands to face forward and rocking cat, going back and release. Now I'm going to mirror you and face forward so you can see what I'm doing. Inhale and then exhale, going back into the cow position. Turn the palms to face each other and we're going to go to the right, so I'm mirroring you. and. Notice how I'm keeping my shoulder off the floor and walking my hand under the arm. Trying to arch at the sacrum and feel a nice spiral in the spine. And release. And rocking cat, extend the arms. You can relax the head down. Inhale forward and coming into the cow, rocking backward. Gently pulling with the wrist to create some traction and then turn the hands to face each other. Elbows are wide, still uh, bent. And then we go to the other side. So walk your hand under the arm. Keep your upper body arching as you just add a rotation, the spiral in your spine. And just going as far over as you like. And then release. And let's come into the cat position. And from here, you can come all the way back and sit and relax in child's pose. Inhale here, draw the legs together. And then on the exhale, let's roll up. So we're sitting on our heels. Now this is just to prepare us for the next movement. So use the support of your hands. We're going to shift the pelvis to the right and sit down on the floor. So we're sitting down next to the feet. And this might be easy for some people and not so easy for others. Just do your best to come to center. And then sit down on the left side of your feet. And then come back to center. 
let's come into child's pose. Inhale, exhale. You can slide your arms out in front. Rest your forehead on the floor, knees together. And then inhale, look forward. Now we're going to walk the arms out to the sides. Arms extended. Walk your fingers so you're spreading your arms, spreading your shoulders. And then you can rest your forehead on the floor again. So now we're going to add the sitting on the sides of the feet piece. So the pelvis will shift to the right and we're going to bend the right elbow at the same time. That left hand is going to slide on the floor. So you're sitting down on the right side and you're going to turn your spine, turn your head, look to the right and you're gently pressing down on the floor with the right hand to increase this twist. So we inhale and exhale. You can bring your head to the floor and you can even feel like the twisting is bringing that left shoulder towards the floor. Now let's come to center. Inhale. And you're walking your hands away from each other. On the exhale, now sit to the left of your feet, left side. That right hand's going to slide on the floor. And at the same time, we're bending the left elbow and pressing on the floor, which encourages the spiral in the spine. So we're pushing with that left hand, bending the elbow, and your head can come to the floor. And you can imagine that right shoulder coming towards the floor, deepening the spiral. Let's do that one more time each side. So we inhale center, exhale, sit to the right, spiral to the right, looking to the right, and pressing with that right hand to deepen the twist. Inhale, center, and then exhale, sit to the left of your feet, bend that left elbow, spiral the spine, pushing down on the floor gently as you spiral facing the left. Let the breath flow. Inhale to the center, and exhale, let's rest in child's pose, and you can bring your arms alongside the body. Inhale here, draw the knees together. And on the exhale, let's roll up. Okay, let's come into downward facing dog. Just place your hands on the floor in front of you. And inhale, flex your feet. And on the exhale, downward facing dog. And let's walk in place, pressing one heel down at a time extending one leg at a time. And we can add a spiral here. So we can press the right heel down and spiral the spine, looking to the right. You can press the left heel down, spiral to the left, looking under the arm. And you can play around here, adding a little bit more rotation. Extending the arms and extending the legs, one at a time. Okay, downward dog, inhale. And on the exhale, let's walk our hands, take little steps towards the feet. So now we're in our half forward bent position. This might be easy to do if you can't uh, reach the floor with your hands, you can use blocks. But otherwise, just put your fingertips on the floor. Inhale here. And on the exhale, let's bend the knees and soften and relax. Inhale, let's extend the legs. And exhale, bend the knees and soften and relax. OK, extend the legs, come into our half forward bend. And we're going to go to the right. So we want to bend the left knee first and keep both heels down. And then take the right arm and reach up, adding a twist. So both feet are pressing down on the floor. That hand is supporting us as we twist. And then come down and switch legs. So now we're bending the right knee and just check that both your heels are still down. And spiral that left arm up. So just using the fingertips, 
or you can use a block. Extend the spine as you spiral. And then come back to center. So if that's easy for you to do, you can do this with palms flat. So bend the left knee. And you can really feel like you're sinking the weight into the right foot. And then spiral. Lengthening the spine and deepening the twist. Release, other side. So bending the right knee, that palm is flat if you can. And spiral to the left. And your weight is centered between the heels and the balls of the feet. And then release. Inhale, half forward bend. Exhale, bend the knees, soften. And inhale, extend the legs. And on the exhale, we're gonna slowly roll up. So feel a lift up the front of the body. Feel the energy flowing down the back of the body to the heels, to the floor. Rolling all the way up into your balanced standing position. And that completes this sequence.